doing? Trying to put off something. I didn't even watch it too much, sorry, so I'm just saying number one. Yeah, it's awesome, it's all the sports. So Lauren said she, in her second career, one of the top schools, but she's got a scholarship. Is she thinking about going to like a college system for a different class program? It's always been a little piece. Yeah. 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 Preschool class Friday, so I got him with that one for three weeks, four camp slides. Yeah, I guess I might have to grab a seat. Try to make my basic posture if I can. Next to you.
say cool, yeah, it's on stage.
today. Um, we are very glad that you're here. I'm Michelle Weisenborn. I'm the principal here at Claymont um, and are thrilled to see all of you out there. Um, it's a very special day and it honestly seems like just yesterday that I watched most of these guys walk in as kindergartners um, and it's just been a pleasure watching them grow up um, into such fine young men and women. So this week has been a lot of fun, I think, for our students and our staff. Um, and it wouldn't be possible without a lot of people who helped. Um, so we want to make sure that we thank um, Mrs. Gumpel and Mrs. Ulmer um, and their committee for all of their hard work. Can you give them a big round of applause? <laughs> we also want to thank some people that are kind of behind the scenes, but for Mr. Methel and I are always in the front of the scene, and that's Mrs. Sup and Mrs. Wenstrup. They really do a lot to make sure that everybody gets checked in, checked out, just on a daily basis. They really help us run our life. And so we never really get to thank them um, because they're always up working. But if you do see them when you leave, just say, you know what, thank you so much for all you do because they really work hard. Um, I need to thank Mr. Meckle for all of his support um, this year, kind of being the new kid. Um, I had to bring in another new kid to help me out um, with this job. So thank you, Mr. Meckle, for all of your hard work this year. I want to thank, too, Mr. Boardman. He's way in the back. Um, he's head of Claymont Live along with Mrs. Leary. Um, and we are broadcasting live right now. So if you have been playing, we're live, um, which is awesome because the students do all of that. So they've learned through um, kind of a grant from the PTO um, with all the equipment. So it's just been great to be able to um, do a lot of these things and let family members see them that can't be here. So we appreciate our Claymont Live crew. Teachers, you have been amazing. Um, I know this is a large crew, um, but honestly, it's been an amazing crew. You think with that many, um, it's just been like I said earlier, just a pleasure. So we want to thank you guys too. And I think last but not least, parents, um, you're why we're all here. I mean, thank you so much. Um, and I've honestly said I've known most of you for a very long time with your kids and kids and that are now out of high school. So if this is your last child here at Claymont, can you stand? We just want to say thank you to you and just we'll stand. <laughs> give them a big round of applause because we will miss you very much. Very much. So we do have a very full schedule today, so um, with that I want to hand it over to Mr. Hawkins. Thank you. 
Hello? Hello. <laughs> Thank you, students. You can have a seat. Thank you. As our year nears an end, we have so much to reflect on. Fifth grade is what we call a leap year. So much to learn and so many ways to grow. Growth mindset has been woven into our lessons each week here at Claymont. It has been amazing to watch each one of these kids tackle the curriculum with vigor and persistence. Even more, the Claymont class of 2019 have proven to be great friends. Just as important as the academics is the ability to get along with others and build friendships. Please remember, you have each other next year, and you will make new friends as well. As teachers, we believe in growth mindset. Intelligence can be developed. The brain can grow and strengthen like a muscle that can be trained. We hope this leads to your desire to keep working hard next year. It is all how you embrace challenges and how you react to setbacks. Please be aware of your surroundings, find lessons and inspiration in the success of others. Growth mindset is not a competition. Being a fifth grader comes with added responsibilities. Fifth graders are expected to be positive role models for the younger students. This year, all of the fifth grade worked hard to make lasting relationships with their second grade buddies. Kindness and responsibility were the cornerstone of their interactions with each other. These experiences all contribute to what makes each of you ready for what awaits. Students, as your fifth grade teachers, our hope is that you go off to middle school with strong character and a sense of who you are as a person on the inside. We call this our best wishes send-off ceremony for a reason. Each of you has had the opportunity to write a short send-off message to one of your fellow classmates. In class, we have discussed virtues such as having empathy for another, having persistence when things are hard, and being polite to your teachers and friends. You have thought deeply about who your friend is on the inside, and in a moment, we will celebrate one of the strongest attributes with everyone here today. We hope you will remember each of these virtues in yourself and your classmates as you open the next chapter of your lives. Boy, oh boy, this year has been quite the ride. We learned, we laughed, and sometimes even cried. You all have been a complete joy to teach, now we must send you off for your goals to reach. All of our memories we will hold dear, but first we would like to give you one last cheer. The tribute you have for our friend has been kept a surprise, so listen carefully for your name to be called. We will begin with Mrs. Sissel's class. Students, please come forward to the stage and form a line while holding your certificate. If everyone could please hold their applause until all of Mrs. Sissel's class is finished. Tyler Watt. I will always remember that he has always been nice to everyone around him. He is so funny and when I was down, he always made a very funny joke and he gets me more happy. I remember one time a kid was running and another kid tripped him and Tyler ran to him, helped him up and took him to the nurse. Thank you for being my friend. Chase Coughlin. You are super kind and really friendly. You are nice to everybody, whether they are your friend or not. I hope you have an amazing time at middle school. Drew Dunning. Give the facts and you're the leader of the pack. You're awesome and caring, and if you see somebody you can help, you, you help. But you're, the, you're the hero of my life. Good job, people.
Brett Bonsmeyer. I always remember your great attitude and your skills at classroom baseball. I'm very lucky to play, play kickball with you even if we lose. I wish you well in middle school. I know you'll do great. Your friend with this horse. Noah Zander. I will always remember you for being funny. I am always guaranteed you laugh when I am with you. Noah is respectful because he won't judge me for what I like that may be different from what he likes. Thanks for being my friend. Lucas Fortune. I will always remember how good of a friend you are. You will always be there for me when I'm feeling down. You are very funny and kind. I remember when I was really stressed out and you came and cheered me up. Your friend, Derek Detweiler. <laughs> Sophie Quirk. Ever since I met you, you have been so kind-hearted. Whoever meets you in middle school is lucky to meet someone so kind and honest. You are loyal, and I know you will never betray my trust. Jordan Hopper. <laughs> I will always remember how nice and kind you are. You always have my back and don't care what people say. When I was down, you will always come into the situation and make it better. When I got into trouble, I didn't just take the pressure on myself. You were there with me, crying right by my side. You're the, best, you're the bestest friend that I've ever had. Your dear friend, my friend. Ooh. Drew Butler. Thanks for all. Thanks for being such a good friend and always being honest. Thank, also, thanks for helping me with Fortnite challenges. <laughs> Rachel Ferguson. I will always remember how you have helped me through third grade all the way up to now. With the good and bad times, I've seen you grow into a stronger person physically and mentally. Whenever I'm stuck, whether it's a math quiz or friendship problem, you have always picked me back onto my feet. Thank you. Samantha Doolittle. I will, I will always remember how kind you are to me. Another moment I will never forget is the time in Mosaic's when we were working on a slideshow, and you were a great help. You were an awesome at crafting the model we made to go with the presentation to your friend Lily. Lila Kaiser. You're kind when you cheer me up on the worst days. You're loyal because you never betray my trust. You're caring because you always help me when I need it. Thanks for being such a good friend. Kamari Burnett. What I remember most is Kamari's amazing art skills. I would always look over at her pieces and go, wow, she's so creative and has a growth mindset. You will do great things in middle school. Your friend, Sophie Quinn. Ray File. I will always remember Ray is a nice, fun friend. Ray is really good at basketball and I really like playing it with him. Whenever I get hurt or roll my ankle or something like that, he always makes sure I'm okay. Ray is very honest and does not like to lie. Ray is an amazing friend. Lily Maley. I will always remember how you share your things with me. You regularly, you regularly do things for me with no hesitation. Without a doubt, you make me fall on my chair laughing. We can read each other's minds. That's how good of friends we are.
Chandranath. You are a funny, kind, and responsible person. You never get in trouble and you always you love kickball. You are fun to play with and compete against. You're always you are also funny and you always say funny jokes about things you both like. Overall, you are a really good friend. Thank you, Chandra. She called them ponsels. It's a long story. One of the million things I love about her is she never fails to make me laugh.
She always good. She also good at math. A good reader and a and a and a Alice excellent student. Dylan Ziegler. I will always remember Dylan has always been a smart, funny, kind kid. I have loved being his reading partner and sharing fun Pokemon facts. James Bealey. <laughs> I will always remember that James is a kind and very, very funny person. He can turn a really bad day into the best day ever. Sometimes when I'm feeling sad, he will come over and tell me a joke and make me laugh like crazy. Thank you, James, for being an amazing friend. say something random and funny right in the middle of Thank you for being great friend. Juliet Relihan. I will always remember that Juliet was a very kind and loving person who would help anyone who needed it. She is very unique because I've never met a person who can make me laugh like she did when I was down. She is very smart and considerate when it comes to friends and acquaintances. I am glad to have her as my friend and I hope it stays that way for the years to come. Kanaya. I will always remember Kanaya. She is so kind and fun. Whenever I feel sad, She'll make me die of laughing. <laughs> Aiden. I will always remember. 
remember Aiden as my best friend and a very kind person to me. Every time I was sad or hurt, he was always there for me. If Aiden, if Aiden wasn't here, I probably would have been so sad. Zach. I will always remember how Zach is a kind person with a great personality. Who even if he gets in an argument with you, he eventually forgives you for anything. Ella. I will always remember that Ella is a very good singer and she is always making people who are sad happy. Lily Kendall. I will always remember how Lily always makes me laugh. She always tries to make me feel better. She is so smart and great. I'm glad I ever met her. She has been my best friend all year and has always been helping me when I am sad. Tommy Boyle. One thing I will always remember about Tommy is that he is a kind, caring, and supportive friend. One thing I will remember about Tommy is he's always there when you need someone to make you smile. I will always remember you, Molly, because you are always there and never excluding. Thank you so much for, for for everything. You're so nice and kind. Thank you. And great arms. Carmen. I will always remember how sweet of a person Carmen was. She is so kind, thoughtful, and smart. She is such a creative person and has great ideas. She always wants to help people. She is also so funny, and if you are down, she will cheer you up. Annie. I will always remember how you've always been my friend. You are funny and the nicest person I know. Thank you for being my friend, Tom. Sophie. I will always remember how she would not leave my side until I felt better. She is the funniest girl in our school, and I hope she will
the kindergarten drop off ready, ready to put my school supplies away, not knowing I would be my best friend for the next six years. I really liked all of our sleepovers and playdates because we would always have a new game to play. So when we go into middle school, I hope we don't lose, lose touch. Sarah Wright. I will always remember Sarah because she is a good friend. Sarah is kind and she always makes me laugh. A memory that we have is sitting with the macaroni pillows in our class. Electro band time. I will always remember Electra because of her art. She's so artsy and good at art and very creative. Max Bunny. I will always remember that he was always make me laugh. I like to play knockout with him at recess and he is a good friend. Thanks for being my friend. Colin Peel. I will always remember how funny and nice you were. You could always make me laugh when you are athletic. You always like the super sports as me, and you have been a good friend since third grade. Jacob Triani. I will always remember when Ryan and I, and I did the, a bridge pro project together at the end of the year. He helped a lot in our group and was kind to the people in my group. Ryan is a great friend and, and is re really nice. Destiny Jump. <laughs> I will always remember Destiny's great friendship with me and her sense of humor. Destiny is one of my really good friends. She always knows how to make me laugh. I'm so grateful to have her in my life. <laughs> Chapman. Yay. I will always remember you. You are always kind and funny. You are a great person to hang out with, and I really enjoyed doing the new project with you. Haven Sussman. of our friendship. Over the next six and a half years or seven, we grew closer and closer to each other, to where we were closer than sisters could be. The last thing I want to say in this speech is, can I get a whole yeah? <laughs> Samuel Parrot. I was always remember that he was my partner every time. He was good at math and is always and he was my 
and he was a great prayer this year. Dane DeBush. I will always remember Dane for being a good friend. He has been my friend for a long time. We go to each other's houses all the time, and I hope we can stay that way for middle school. Wait, Pat. I'll always remember when me and Wade made funny comics about characters named Billy, Carl, Jerry, Mark, and John. We worked on the comics every time we could and tried to make them as funny as we could. Drew Bowman. I will always remember Drew's good sense of humor and his athletic ability. Drew always makes me laugh and me and him like a lot of the same stuff. I remember one time earlier this year, Drew punted a basketball from about 150 feet away from the hoop and swished it. Brooklyn Bab. I will always remember that she was the first person who became my friend. We always hang out with each other every day. It's either in class, specials, or recess. If we're not together, we're either playing Roblox at home. We always hang out every day, and that always makes my day because she's the best friend I ever had. Brady Norman. I will always remember Brady as one of my closest friends because I met him in first grade. We are both athletic and we play sports together. He can always make me laugh. One memory I have with Brady was at my house for a sleepover and we were playing video games and laughing. I will always remember Leilani because she is a really kind and helpful friend. She always has your back and knows how to cheer you up. Bashar Abuzi. Bashar is a very funny and kind friend. The thing I will always remember about Bushra is the endless weekends of staying up past midnight, watching movies, eating snacks, and playing Just Dance. Um, my favorite thing to do with Bushra is riding our bikes together every afternoon except for Tuesdays and Thursdays. <laughs> but, um, the, the final thing I will always remember about Bushra is the day we met and the day we found out we were neighbors. I will always remember, remember the way he made me laugh. Like the time me and other friends were at his hot tub playing truth or dare. That was one of the most fun experiences with him ever. <laughs> Frankie Clancy. Also because if there is a hard math problem or difficult assignment, you never give up. 
and you always try your best no matter what it is. Myri flowers. I will always remind, remember Myri is kind, big hearted, amazing at kickball, a small and awesome, amazing best friend. Thank you so much, Myri, for helping me grow at Claymont. I will always remember you. Hugo or balls. I will always remember Hugo for his huge sense of humor. Hugo is also very good at drawing. Sometimes I wish I could draw like you. Hugo is probably one of the best, if not then the best, soccer player at Claymore I've seen. Dominic D'Angelo. I will always remember when Dominic and I were on a field trip to the middle school and how in strings he and I would sit together. If he, if I forgot our, my music, then he was completely willing to let me use his music. That is why I will never forget you. Nick Cook. <laughs> I will always remember that Nick is a good friend because he is smart and down to earth. He always knows something funny to say, even if it is sometimes a little inappropriate. <laughs> One of my favorite people in my class. Good luck in middle school, Nick. Thanks. You want to die? I will always remember Fiona for how pretty she is and how smart she is. We knew Fiona, I knew Fiona since kindergarten. She was one of my best friends. She's a problem solver and she solves problems like a boss. Like in middle school, Fiona. Kate Hardy. I will always remember Kate's jokes and her sense of humor. She's creative and hardly ever fails to make me laugh. She was one of my best friends, and I wish her good luck in the future. And though she be but little, she is fierce. What she fear? Isabella DeLuca. I will always remember Isabella for her creativity, bravery, and curiosity. She is funny, kind, and adventurous. She almost always makes me smile. Thank you for always making me laugh and being a good friend. I hope that middle school treats you as kindly as you treat others. Bayani Davis. She is a loving and caring. She is always she always smiles and she always draws the best start. She is always she always gives hugs. She never gives up on anything, even if it's hard. Thanks for being my friend, Bayani. Bailey Beerman. I will always remember the way you smile and when you always help me when I need it. You are kind, nice, respectful to others. You always make me feel happy when I'm around you. I like when you talk about the first time we met and what we did in first grade. Thank you for being my friend. McKenna Rosenberger. I 
I will always remember how you would come into the room with a big smile on your face and how you could always help, help and comfort me when I'm feeling down. I'm so lucky to have you in my life and to call you my friend. Jillian Depke. Yeah. I'll always remember the moment when we played Foursquare and we loved it so much we even wrote a story about it. You are so kind and loving and you always persevere. Thank you for being, always being there. Langston Williams. I will always remember all the time we've spent together, from baseball to basketball and recess to field trips. Thank you for always being my friend. Max Moore. I will, we all, I will always remember Max, my best friend ever. We met in second grade. He is kind and friendly. When we first met each other, it was like we were meant to be best friends forever. Preston Weirmeister. I will always remember his jokes and enthusiastic personality. He is a lot like me. He is funny, crazy, silly, but in his own way. Ethan Brookshire. I will always remember Ethan as a great friend because whenever I'm sad, he always picks me up when I'm down. He kicks in kickball. He kicks it so far and runs so fast. Thank you for being my friend, Ethan. Jordan Thomas Prime. I, re I will always remember how smart he is and how awesome and how helpful you are. For example, when people are stuck on uh, math problems, you help them out. I will, always, I will always remember Curtis for being my best friend ever since second grade. He has been kind, nice, and always loving to me whenever I feel down. My favorite memory with, with Curtis was in third grade when our teacher asked us to make comic books. We made a Pokemon and Dog Man book. It was amazing. <laughs> William McCartney. I will always remember how nice William McCartney is to me whenever I kick a home run and, and kickball and everything else. He's also really funny, and whenever I'm down, he's always able to cheer me up. Jamil. I will always remember Jamil because of all the times he played with me at recess, helping me with wall ball and other sports we played. Good luck in middle school, Jamil. <clears throat> Natalia Gumbel. I will always I will always remember when Natalia and I first met. Right away, I knew I wanted Natalia out of her. She was hilarious, cheerful, respectful, and an amazing singer. 
I am so grateful to have Natalia in front of me. Easton Kimbrough. I will always remember, I remember playing with Easton on Roblox, even though he's better than me at most games. It's still fun to find and play new games with him. Also, that when I'm mad, you always help me cool down before you even matter. Good luck in middle school, Easton. Adam Harst. I will always remember that Adam is a very intelligent and hardworking person. He is always by my side no matter what. I remember back in first grade, we were having a race and I tripped over his shoelace and Adam picked, Adam helped me up and took me to the nurse. Thanks for being my friend. <coughs> Ryan Hardy. Ryan, you are fun. I mean, you are funny, nice, cool, and smart, dude. Stay awesome and have a good summer. <laughs> Matt Lancia. <laughs> Matt is a very nice and funny person. He always makes everyone laugh and works hard. He'll be awesome in middle school. I will always remember how funny he is. I like that he is good at sports. He is awesome and weird. He is a good friend to have. Lila Penrod. I will always remember Lila by how she is always so happy. Her happiness will hopefully still be spreading throughout middle school. Wyatt Larson. I remember how funny you were, also as a good friend, even when times were tough. Nathan Bertrand. I will always remember Nathan because he's good at things on the computer and he's a great artist. Jordan Hill. 
Jackson Lambert Stick. Oh, what's he doing? Al Jackson is always super funny and cool. I also remember he got all the skins. <laughs> Sophia Wynn. I always remember that you've been a good friend and you helped me with a ton of stuff. You are really nice and funny. Jada White. Jada White is a kind and caring person. <laughs> I, will, I will always remember her as outgoing, funny, and someone I will, and someone who will always stick up for others. I do believe that she will carry all of her positive traits with her in sixth grade. Why was laughing? Uh, talking about Miles, I always will remember how competitive he was, but then very nice after. <laughs> Matthew Barry. Matthew is funny, kind, and really, really smart. I know he will do amazing in middle school. Jack Kilcullen. I will always remember Jack as a good friend. Jack has always been very, very, very funny. Jerome Hill Buckner. Jerome has always been a good friend of mine. He's always he's always in a happy mood. I, I got lucky to have a friend like him. I will always remember how Natalie helped other people, including me. Natalie helped others with her heart. She has such a sweet, kind heart, and I will always remember her. Ella Kembro. I will... I will always remember being partners with you in science. You always worked hard and had fun. Katie Virgo. I will always remember your goofy personality. I'll never forget your never-ending optimism. And we can still be friends next year. I will always remember you and how we always laugh and make funny pranks. I hope you have a fun time in this one. Wayne Chatterton. I will always remember how he asks a lot of interesting questions, and everyone really likes hearing his cool ideas. Andrew Jameson. I will always remember how and by and Andrew by how he's very kind and sweet all the time, and has a smile on his face.
Well, it's hard to follow up a group of kids singing. There isn't much better than that. But to continue our ceremony, we do owe many people a thank you. First, the fifth grade parents who have worked so hard to bring this week of fun together for our kids. And you have done it. You've pulled off another amazing fifth grade week. This task requires a crew of volunteers, a lot of time, and quite a bit of patience as our fifth graders get very excited to participate in our final week of activities. Among other things, these volunteers organize the yearbook signing, the Sky Zone field trip, our baby photo contest, class gifts, and keeping track of all of the paperwork involved. So thank you. Most of all, it takes everybody in this room working as a team to reach this very day. Thank you for sharing your children with us. And to our awesome graduates, this time is bittersweet as we look forward to our summer vacation while reflecting on another successful school year. We feel confident that you are ready for middle school. You have all the skills that you need to fly high next year. But most of all, we hope that you hold tight to the virtues that you've learned here at Claymont. Be responsible, persevere through challenge, and be kind. As our special treat to the students and new parents and families, please enjoy this send-off video that we have prepared. Students, you are welcome to come and sit in front of the screen. Thank you. 
Thank you, Mrs. Boker, for putting that together that video uh, for us. Um, finally, as we wrap things up, support comes from all directions when raising a child. We're all part of a team, and it takes guidance from every direction. Parents, family members, guardians, this day is much a celebration about you as it is our fifth graders in front of us. So fifth graders, go ahead and quickly give a round of applause for your family members real quick. As we've repeated many times, Dr. Seuss wrote, you're off to great places, today is your day, your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. Students, in a second, I'm going to dismiss you to go present them with your letter. Parents, as you choose to take your child home with you, please sign your child out at the front and evacuate in a quick manner so that we can get to dismissal quickly today and clear our cars out so that the buses can come and all those cars can come. One more big round of applause for our fifth graders here.